Dramatic Smoky Eye. And I just was inspired by the top I'm actually wearing. It is like a denim -y, um, I guess, like sweatshirt. And I really wanted to create something like rock chick inspired. And this is why I also uh, tried some lashes on today. So maybe you want to um, watch me putting on some lashes or something. And yeah. So if you want to know how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. So for today's rock chick look, I'm just going to start with the eyeshadow. So I'm just going to pick up my eyeshadow primer as always and I'm just going to prime my eyelids. Picking up Max Kid eyeshadow. I'm just going to put that in my crease. After that, I'm going to pick up the gunmetal shade from the Urban Decay Naked One palette and I'm going to lay the color on my outer third. So I decided to put the color on my outer half and not my outer third. So this is up to you if you want to have like more of the dark shadow or less. After that, picking up the lighter grayish blue shadow from the Sleek Storm palette, I'm going to lay the color on top of the gunmetal just because it is more metallic and I wanted to have like a three dimensional look. Then I go back to the blending brush with the kit color on it and I'm just going to blend everything. And take your time with that and just go around the edges. If the kit color is too warm for you, I just suggest picking up a matte gray. I don't like my looks to be too gray, so that's why I love to mix in some warmer eyeshadows. After blending the colors in, I'm just going to pick up the gummetal shade once again and layer it on top, but just on the outer part and that I do this because I accidentally, or this could happen to anyone actually, um, blend it a little bit too much around the edges and um, I like the colors to be more rich and pigmented. After that I pick up a little pigment from Sleek and it is called In The Nude Eye Dust and it is like a silvery kind of um, platinum gold color with bigger chunks of golden specks and I'm just going to put that into my inner third and for that work I'm going to pick up my MAC Fix Plus because I find it much easier putting on pigments with that and I'm going to just spritz this a little bit on a tiny flat brush When ready, go ahead and grab a light nude shade, mix it in with a pure white. And I'm just going to highlight my brow bone with that. After that, just take a cotton bud and your regular makeup remover. I just have the Clinique take the day off. And we are going to clean up the mess under our eyes. After that, we're just going to go in with our regular foundation and I'm just going to pick up and I'm just going to pick up my beauty blender. Then I'm going to pick up my regular MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Concealer, which I wanted to use up really badly. Highlight under my eyes and on my forehead and also a little bit on my chin. Now I going to draw on my desperately needed eyebrows because when you are doing like intense looks make sure that you draw your eyebrows a little bit darker than usual. Next I go in with my regular shredded up face 
powder with the translucent face powder. At first I just take always the poof and put the powder like really sloppy on my face. And after that I take my beauty blender and kind of work it in. Next I'm going to contour because I find when doing such dramatic looks um, that contour is a must because your face looks like natural and flat and after foundation uh, it looks like you haven't like any dark shadows. So it is really important to bring those shadows back so everything looks like put together. So I just take my Laguna bronzer from NARS on a little angled brush from Smashbox. Then I go in with a peachy blush. It's Mac from uh, it's Mac from Melba. It's Melba from Mac. And as a last step for my eyebrows, I'm just going to comb them through and shape them a little bit with my Maybelline brow definer. So back to the eyes. I am really excited because I'm going to try out some fake lashes today. But first let me mascara my eyelashes really quickly with my little sample from Isadora which is like never ending. And finally, after that, I'm picking up some lashes. Those are actually a pair of lashes I found from Primark. I actually never shop there because I really don't like the concept of the shop. But when I visited my friend, um, I, we... This is actually my cat. When I visited my friend, we just actually popped into Primark and I found those lashes and I, they really appealed to me. So I just bought them and now I want to try them out. So I'm back with the lashes and I'm also just put on some mascara on top of the fake lashes so everything blends nicely together. And so I just have to finish my lips right now and my under eye. So I'm just taking the little brush I worked with and put on the darker grey colors. And I'm just taking the rest of the product and go on my lower lash line because I actually don't like to have too dark over a lash line under there because I find this closes up my eyes a lot. But after that I'm just going to mascara my lower lashes a tiny bit. So now we have to finish the lips. So first I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Penelope Pink. And after that I'm just picking up my MAC Pure Zen lipstick and go on top of that. And because this is not dark enough for my liking, I just pick my Max Factor lip liner in, I think it is something with, yes, brown and nude. And I'm just going to outdraw my outer lip line. Yeah, I like that a lot more. So this is the final look, you guys. I'm really happy you watched until the end. And I hope some of you may recreate that rock cheek, gunmetal denim inspired makeup look, a makeup look I came up with and as for now I'm just going to wish you a nice day as always and see you soon. Bye!